what it is it's like contracting your vagina and releasing it my breast okay yo I used to have one of the most beautiful breasts I have ever seen in my life the inner part of your anus coming out it's almost like piles oh my god oh my god I'm going to be talking about my vagina and you guys say yo yo <laughs> but I have paid my dues because when I'm pregnant hey guys welcome and welcome back to my channel it's that mom of three here or that soon to be mom of three right here in your faces and i'm so glad that you stopped by if you're new here my name is mabel and you're welcome to mabel's nest in today's video you guys i'm going to be discussing everything that my body <laughs> that my body has been through in the past four years like for the past four years, since June 2020, I have been having babies. <laughs> for the past four years, like within the past four years, this is my third pregnancy. And of course, my body cannot be the same. My body has been through Shege Banza. And I'm going to be discussing all of that with you guys. So if you know that you do not like TMIs, because I'll be giving a lot of TMIs or a few TMIs in this video. If you know you're that judgmental person, this video is not for you, okay? This video is for fellow mothers and soon-to-be mothers and moms in waiting all right so if you think that this is what you would like to listen to then please sit back relax and let's get this video started <laughs> Of course, it's not news that pregnancy takes a toll on women and their bodies and their mental health and their general life. I don't know anybody that has been pregnant and the person's body still remains the same even after pregnancy. I do not know of anyone like that. And for me, it takes a lot to be a mom of three under five without planning. Like God and life just throw, <laughs> has just been throwing these goodies at me without even asking me. And to be honest, I cannot complain. It's a blessing. But before we go ahead, I would like to know guys, like, do you think it's best to space out your kids or do you think it's best to just have them at once please let me know in the comments what your thoughts are what did you do did you choose to space out your kids did you choose to just have all of them at once and rest let me know in the comments for me i didn't have a choice you guys already know the story how you know my body i don't know <laughs> you guys already know the story i believe so i didn't have a choice but to have my kids all at once no choice whatsoever and i'm telling you the truth i wouldn't have it any other way i don't know how it is when you space out kids but for me i love the bond between my two sons jesus christ if you see the bond they're like twins i love the bond that they share i love the love that they share they, they have like just one year and seven months age gap in between them i love the fact that they're in the same nursery even though jamal is going to leave zim in nursery in september and he'll go to reception but i love the fact that they're in the same class the same school it's like twins and i love the fact that jamal has another brother to keep him company do you get what i mean so for me if i were to do it again i'm telling you the truth i'll do it this same way but let me know what you think about it i'm going to begin with my physical appearance okay we all know that it is inevitable <laughs> for you to be pregnant and not put on weight like weight gain is a must for most people however there are some women that when they're pregnant they lose weight and i count myself among the lucky few that literally lose loads of weight when i'm pregnant literally when i'm pregnant and i'm breastfeeding I am busy losing weight and I know that there are some women like that but my own did not come free of charge okay some women they're like that naturally it's free of charge my own is that I literally have paid my dues like I've paid the price for this body that you're seeing here not by going to the gym <laughs> not by dieting no but I have paid my dues because when I'm pregnant I literally cannot take anything in. I cannot take in water, food, or anything apart from drip. Okay, so obviously when you don't have food in your body, what happens? You lose weight. So at the end of the day, after the pregnancy, I start to rock my body and I feel good. And I forget all the... <coughs> oh God, it's so hot, you guys. Oh, it's so hot. I forget all the drama that I have been through. So I would say that I paid my dues, but luckily for me, my body, see, I've never tied my tummy. I've never given birth and ever won ghetto or tied my tummy or won anything about snatching my waist or anything. So whenever I have baby, my body just snatches back by itself 
because obviously my tummy is not usually so big 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 you know so i've paid my dues about that and i would say that another thing is stretch marks even though it's not a problem i am team natural body when i see people fighting to lose weight maybe i don't understand i'm not in their shoes right but i'm just like but you're fine you're beautiful when people hide their stretch marks i don't understand you know so with me anytime i'm pregnant i, I get to have stretch marks under my tummy okay sometimes you wouldn't even see it until i lift my tummy up you see that the expansion is happening and then i'm having stretch marks all around the lower area of my tummy and it's nothing so because i know that some women after giving birth their tummies are, you know just looks a very i don't know looks very very stretch marky and dark and all of that i don't get to experience it so when it comes to physical appearance for my three pregnancies so far i am thankful Okay, that I don't have to suffer weight gain. I don't have to suffer extreme stretch marks because if you even look at the top, there is nothing. It's just underneath. So I would say that I beat pregnancy to this one. My body beat pregnancy to this one. And I want you to tell me what it's like with you. Are you among those people that used to put on weight? Are you among those people? And then for physical appearance also, I would say that I wouldn't count myself an ugly pregnant woman. I wouldn't count myself like, you know, those women that would have big nose, dark neck, you know, I don't experience any of those hyperpigmentation. So physically, aside the weight loss, because weight, weight loss is not actually good too, because it doesn't look good. I'm, I'm not naturally fat. So losing weight on top of the leg, but when I be, is not really easy, you know. So but I would say it's a pass. I would give myself an 80. I might give myself too much. <laughs> I'll give myself an 80, to be honest, when it comes to physical appearance. What would you rate yourself when it comes to physical appearance and pregnancy? Please, I would like to know in the comments. Section. Next is my breast, okay? This is still like um, physical appearance, but you know, it's the inner part where people cannot really, really see. And I know that this is a little bit of TMI, but yo, I used to have one of the most beautiful breasts I have ever seen in my life. Everybody that is close to me knows that that is the part of my body that is the most beautiful like my mom, my friends, my husband, anybody that ever sees my breast must compliment my breast because God finished work. Anybody that sees my breast must actually praise God and say, oh my God did this work, you know, it's the, it used to be the most beautiful part of my body, it used to be the most favorite part of my body, it was just so beautiful and then pregnancy came. Ah, the first pregnancy, I couldn't believe it. Of course, it got fuller, but some, you know, hyperpigmentation, some veins. If you're a mom, you know all those veins that would appear, and then the areola becomes very big and very black. My areola naturally is not black, so it became very black and big, like the areola and then the veins, and I was so heartbroken. <laughs> I'm not going to lie, I was like, this is not my breast. This is not the breast that I used to know. <laughs> You're a shadow of yourself. <laughs> ah! It's it, baby. I'm like, what is this? <laughs> you know, and my mom would be like, don't worry. After breastfeeding and everything, it's come back to normal. And then look at your girl. Jesus, I'm so hot. I ended up breastfeeding my child for one year and one month exclusively my first child you know and that took a toll on my breast and then i lost a lot of weight so the breast like you know that seed with the inside breast you know come day again that seed where they make the breast firm and stand you know come really day i'm like jesus christ why is my breast like this you know and my mom would say don't worry to come back but it did not come back and then i got pregnant for the second one and then the same thing and then this time it even became worse because i now really 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 lost weight oh my gosh hot i now really 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 lost weight and then i did not know my breast again ah i said god what is this old man thing what is this? And whenever I show my friends, because I was so insecure, so whenever I'm on video call, I'll show my friends, and they'll be like, it's all in your head, it's not that bad. But I just really wanted my breast, the breast that I used to know. I really wanted it, and they'll say, oh, it's not that bad, you're overthinking it. And then my mom will be like, don't worry, whenever you put on weight, obviously you've lost weight, so when you lose weight, of course, your breast will lose weight as well. So whenever you put on weight, so I used to plan in my head that I will start working towards weight gain just for the sole purpose of getting my breast back. You know, and now is the third pregnancy and it's looking so good. I'm not going to lie. 
it's looking it's like the best i've had since all my other pregnancies and i just hope that it stays like that you know honestly i can't deal i can't deal with i'm sorry i might sound vain or whatever i'm not using the breast to do anything no it's just that knowing that you know the most precious part of, not it's not the most precious part every part of my body is precious don't get me wrong but this is the part that i'm the, i'm most proud about i don't showcase it out there i don't use it to do anything to be honest but you know i just it's just hard to accept that it's no longer what it used to be so let me know if you don't mind sharing have have you experienced this whole breast thing like how did pregnancy and motherhood how did it take a toll on your body generally your breast like are you among those that i don't know but for me ah, mm -mm. next we're going to be talking about my vagina and you guys i would say that when it comes to my vagina i am lucky i know that so many women go through so much when it comes to that area and i'm going to tell you guys what i think helped me in my last pregnancy so in my first pregnancy Ah, oh, I had an epithetomy, yeah? So it was a first degree tear. It wasn't funny, but because it was first degree, it wasn't so much, so I got stitched. As a matter of fact, the doctor said to me that, I'm sure I've shared that with you guys before, he said to me that he doesn't have to stitch it. Like, I can go without being stitched, but just for it to be better, he was going to stitch it, and I was okay. I was like, okay, fine. It was painful, you guys. <laughs> it was so painful. I went through all that phase, and I healed. After the baby, because I know that people say after baby, their vaginas get wider and whatnot. It wasn't like that for me. I would even say maybe tighter. <laughs> I don't know, but it was still the same way. Like, I don't know how God does these things that something that expanded so much to have a 3.6 kg baby came back to its normal size. And I would say that I am lucky because some women do not get to experience that, yeah? And then with my second pregnancy, I was I had anxiety. I'm just like, I don't want a tear. And I heard that second babies are usually bigger than first babies. So I was like, I don't want a tear this time. Oh my God, help me. And to the glory of God, the Father, <laughs> I didn't have a single tear. I had my, oh my God, that is a miracle. That's one of the best things that anybody can experience. I don't know if you've never had a tear or you've had any baby that you did not have a tear, you know what I'm talking about. Please tell us in the comments. Like you wouldn't even know you had a baby because you don't have to go through that down there healing, that process of healing and pain, you know. So I would say that for that pregnancy, I did a lot of pelvic floor exercises and it helped. It's funny how with this pregnancy, I have not been doing pel pelvic floor exercises. I don't know why, but with my second pregnancy, I would do it every time. I would do it every single time. You know, I was even pregnant for, for some, for the most part of my pregnancy, I was in Nigeria. When I'm driving, I'm doing pel pelvic floor exercises. If you don't know what it is, it's like contracting your vagina and releasing it contracting like you're trying to hold pee or squeeze yeah, squeezing in your vagina and releasing it squeezing it in releasing it squeezing it in so you can do it when you're cooking when you're driving when you're at any point in time when you're lying down at any point in time but it's not good to do it when you're easing yourself when you're peeing it's not good to pee and contract pee and contract because that can give you infection so i really invested in pelvic floor exercises and i think that it helped the muscles of my vagina, my pelvic, everything was firm. And again, I want to believe, I don't know, but maybe the water bath also helped. I don't know. So this time, I'm not going to act like I'm perfect. I've not been doing pelvic floor exercises. But so far, again, I would say that with my vagina, I, am I count myself lucky because I've not really had any problems so far. Where I have had problems is the other side. I'm going to say the other side. I mean my anus. Oh my god from my first pregnancy i was experiencing this thing called hemorrhoids and i didn't know i was never ready for it zimchi please shh. thank you thank you nobody ever told me that that could be a thing it's something that i never knew about i never knew what it was so when i was pregnant with my first child i was experiencing it first of all i thought it was pile you know so i showed my doctor and he was like don't worry after the pregnancy most times for most women it will go back inside so it's just like the i don't know what it's called but the inner part of your anus coming out it's almost like pile and it's disgusting it's painful especially when you have to do a number two sometimes you can bleed so it was it was 
I wouldn't say mine is extremely painful, but I wasn't comfortable, you know, I wasn't comfortable at all with it. And then I remember that when I had my first child, the doctor put it back in. It was painful. It wasn't a surgical process. I don't know how he did it, but I felt it in my brain. And for a while, I didn't have it anymore. And then with time, it came back again. And I think that up until now, to be honest, I still have it. It's just that I don't go through so much pains with it. It's one of the most uncomfortable things to be honest and I just want to give a shout out to all mothers hmm. when it looks like we are just making noise about this whole thing it's not so there's a lot that goes down I know a lot of people I've told you guys before I know somebody that ever since she had her child she's been wearing diapers this is like 21 years 21 years 21 years complications just happen i've told you guys of my friend that lost her sight you know there's just a lot that goes down i just want to you know give it up to you because being a mother is not easy it doesn't end in the whole process of pregnancy and delivery it carries on like you know the new birth phase and then the toddler phase it doesn't end and I want to also give a shout out to fathers that are responsible fathers, men that are understanding because I know that lots of women that have gone through these changes, some of them experience discrimination from even their husbands. I've seen men online come to talk about how they don't like their wives anymore, they're not attracted to their wives anymore because after she gave birth, her voice became deep or she started having beards or her body is not what it used to be and it's affecting him and it's affecting their relationship as a couple. So it's, it's not easy on anybody but shout out to those men that able to you know still stay and keep it real and still encourage like I remember how every time I'm pregnant I always feel ugly funny enough and my husband always tell me that I'm beautiful he always encouraged me it, it goes a long way because every woman needs it I don't know if any man is watching me but if you're a man I know it's not easy the woman that you married is not the woman that she is but look at the baby look at the blessing and appreciate her body for going through that because you know she's not really happy too that her body is what it is you know look at the story i talked about my breast and all of that she's also going through so much and even worse than you that you're just sighting you're just seeing you know appreciate the whole pro i know that most men do I'm, I, I know most men i know a lot of men do but i'm just talking to the few that get irritated please it's, 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 it's deep okay <laughs> it's deep. lastly i'm going to share memory loss oh my god oh my god i think it's called pregnancy brain my first pregnancy that was the end like i lost my memory i could speak with you today and i go forget say we talk it was so bad so one day i was discussing with my friend hey god let me share my friend's story i was discussing with my friend and i was telling her how bad my memory loss has been because when i had it it was my first pregnancy they said oh after the baby comes you'll get better baby came it was worse it did not get better and before i would recover i'm pregnant again more memory loss again sorry you guys my kids are here, so sometimes they need my attention. I use the opportunity to go and get a towel to clean my body. It's so hot. I'm really sweating. And it's not summer, summer, summer yet, though. I mean, is it summer yet? Oh, it's really hot. And everywhere is open. No noise. What was I even saying? Memory loss. Yeah, before I recovered from the first one, I'm pregnant again, so it became worse. So one day I was not talking to one of my friends that has a child. I was not like, did you experience this thing? Because I'm going, I'm going crazy. Like, and you know, sometimes my loved ones might say things like, um, I think my mom one day she said something like, ah, ah this your this your memory is so bad. Small girl like you. Oh my god, I lost my mind. I was so mad. I cried. Do you know what I'm going? Do you think it's funny that I discuss something with you now and I don't remember? I'm supposed to call somebody back. I don't remember. Do you know? You, I was never like that before, you know. So, and I talked to my friend. I was telling my friend about it, and my friend was sharing her own experience with me. Let me tell you. <laughs> Sometimes when you think that your problem is bad, hear somebody's own. You will thank God for your own. Let me share my friend's own with you. She told me that her own was so bad that she will be cooking. Like almost every day, all through her pregnancy, she will be cooking and forget that she was cooking. And then the food will be burning, she will perceive it all. And she will say, ah, who is cooking? Yeah, this is my neighbor. Ah, yeah, their food is burning. And then the food will burn, her husband will come back. Tomorrow it will happen again. Her husband now became tired. The next day it will happen again. She will not remember that this thing happened yesterday. Oh. The next day again, she will cook and burn the food again and forget that she was the one cooking. She said that one day on her child midterm, she took her daughter to school 
And then she realized that it was midterm. She called the teacher and she was upset. She was telling the teacher that, how could, how is it that nobody told me that it was midterm? Why didn't you put it on the WhatsApp group of the school? Why didn't anybody inform me? Now I have to use my pregnancy and waste my time this morning, waking up early to come and take my child to school when I should be resting. The teacher was like, but we've talked about this, that even yesterday we talked about it, like we've shared it on the WhatsApp group before now, and yesterday you and I spoke about it. <laughs> um, uh, when I heard her own story, eh, whoa, eh, I, I was like, ah, no, my own knowledge, like, <laughs> my own knowledge, like, eh, and then thankfully this third pregnancy, ah, I've not really experienced it. If I've experienced it, it's literally like maybe eight percent, maybe eight to. Um, Maybe I'm exaggerating. Maybe I'll say 16% I've experienced it. So I think that I'm better now. This pregnancy, I did not experience that, that memory loss as much as my other two pregnancies. And I'm grateful for that. I know that so many women have gone through these differently. So many women have had different experiences. And I've had my own fair share. In all honesty, with other stories that I have heard, I count myself overall lucky even though it is not easy even though i have gone through stuff i would say that it's not so much even with my whole excessive vomiting my hyper gravidurum um, hyper emesis gravidurum that i had in all my pregnancies and all the sicknesses i would say that it's not too much for these precious little gifts that god has given to me i will go through it over and over again for them i will go through worse for them i'm so grateful for them I'm so grateful for everything, but if you're a mom here and you've gone through, you know, your own differently, or even if you've had like similarities with me, identify, let us know ourselves in the comments. Say yo, yo, <laughs> say yo, yo, yo in the comments. Let me know that ah, I have sisters here. And then if you've gone through what, please share your experiences with us. We'd like to know. I'm never going to end this video without, you know, appreciating and shouting out to um, mothers in waiting if you're trying to conceive hang in there you're in my prayers you're in my husband's prayers god is going to do it for you and you will testify and in short i'll be coming here every day to be filming to say one of my subscribers will after seven years she's pregnant or she has had her baby that's going to be our portion on this channel say amen amen in jesus name thank you guys so much if you enjoyed this video please do not leave without smashing the thumbs up button and then if you want to be a part of this channel please subscribe to my channel if you love my content i'm going to see you guys in the next one okay stay safe i love you all bye now